Today we'll be doing a demonstration on the transient hot wire or the THW-L2. This follows an ASTM for measuring liquids. In addition, it can measure small particle uh, powders as well as small insulation uh, foams. So here's the THW controller. Plugged into the THW controller is a THW sensor. Now we have this immersed in the small volume liquid cell that comes with the instrument. Uh, we, but as we don't want to disturb the sample in, ad, in advance of the measurement, I'll disassemble this after we make a measurement to show you uh, how the sample is configured. So now that our sample is configured for measurement, let's go ahead and make a measurement. So measurements can be taken by pushing this button on the controller or within the THW software. So let's go into the software as that's uh, an easier way to make demonstration. It's a little bit more convenient uh, way of making measurements as well. So in the software, uh, we can label the sample as well as determine how many measurements we want to make per uh, sample. So in this case, if I wanted to make five measurements, I could add a delay between each measurement and run that and it would automatically run through each test. Uh, in addition, inside the software, we can control this thermoelectric uh, uh, dry bath from a range of zero to 100 degrees to automate thermal conductivity measurements with temperature. So let's go ahead and make one measurement. This sample uh, we're measuring in this demonstration is actually water. Uh, typical test times for measuring liquids are on the order of around one second. For measuring solids and insulation type materials, uh, the test time can be slightly longer uh, depending on the dimension and surface of, of the solid uh, insulation and powder type materials. Once your measurement is complete, your thermal conductivity is displayed on the screen as well as the temperature of the data and your sample ID. So let's switch back to the camera so I can uh, reverse disassemble the sample setup to give you an idea of how that is accomplished. So we can pull the sensor out and as you can see it's a wire suspended uh, between our, uh, our THW cell. There's also a temperature sensor here uh, on the side of the sensor. Our cell we use that comes with the system holds in that small volume area, holds about 15 milliliters of fluid. Uh, so this is a really nice way of controlling size as well as convection. Uh, again, this can be inserted into our uh, dry bath, thermoelectric dry bath for a range of zero to 100 degrees. So that concludes our um, example measurement on liquid. Hopefully you find that interesting. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're happy to help. Thank you for your time.